Hello Tubesters, it's Gav and welcome to another one of my videos. Today it's a first part of a build vlog on this 1 in 72 scale Hobby Boss German Land Weser Schlepper. Uh, it's an amphibious tractor, early production, so the box is. Uh, I've uh, done a fair amount to it. It's obviously not as you've seen by if you've watched the, the unboxing video I did. It's not a complicated kit. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's quite... Um, it's quite an easy assembly, you know, it's, it's, there's not a lot of uh, side pieces to glue and things like that. So, you know, the, the top and bottom and that is, is already pre-cast, pre if you want to say that. And it's, so it's a fairly fairly straightforward kit to do. So um, I've done a, a bit of scratch building to it. Mainly, it's just shapes, if that makes sense. Uh, when I've actually put the, the top on, you can't see a lot of it. So unless you're going to open up the, the rear hatches and things like that, you're, you're not going to see a lot inside, even with the uh, big portholes that you see on the on the vehicle itself. So we'll go for the bottom part first. Now, let's just get some more light on if we can. Right. As I say, this is 1 in 72 scale. Uh, things that I've done, well, we'll start with the bottom first. Uh, these side pieces, they obviously clip in. They're a nice tight fit, and I'd suggest you wouldn't have to put any glue on the facing pieces. Uh, I've just clipped mine in and then run some some uh, quick drying glue, Tamiya Extra Thin, around the outsides, and uh, I think that's perfectly adequate. But I've just run some plastic putty around there. There's a very slight gap in places. Uh, not that when I've checked with the tracks on there, you're not going to really see a lot of it, but I've, I've done it anyway. So these two, uh, the bottom part, which I showed in the in the unboxing, I didn't even realise, but the bottom part is actually uh, loose to this top piece. Uh, it just comes clipped together in the, the kit by the look of it. Um, so I just, uh, once I'd taken it off, cleaned some tabs off, I then just ran some uh, extra thin around that as well, because that was a really tight fit. Uh, the bits I've done, <laughs> as you can see, uh, to mimic these air holes here for the engine, uh, my <laughs> it's just got some something I've got to learn. Gav learned to do a straight line. Uh, I've not gone all the way into the in through the body. I mean, you could do. Uh, obviously, it'd be dark in there. You wouldn't see anything. But I've just just literally gone in a mill or so, you know, just to to show that they're there. I'm hoping I can make them look ever so slightly better with a, a coat of paint on, although I've got a feeling that's not going to happen. Uh, there is some rivet detail on there which isn't really showing up particularly well, uh, and I'm hoping that'll come up well in the in the paintwork. Uh, I've used um, Magic Sculpt uh, to go around the the outside. This is like a a, a rope hawser that goes around the outside as a bulwark, just to obviously stop because it's this. Its main job is is a tug. It uh, it can drive into a river or an estuary or even the sea, and uh, move barges along. In fact, because this had, it didn't have a lot of stowage space inside. It, uh, it quite often towed a ten or twenty ton barge behind it uh, on this big hook that you can see here. Um, I've mocked up a, a winch. It's literally you, you you hardly see it at all when you look through the windows. So it's just that it has a winch on board normally. That runs through these rollers and then these roller and this end roller here um, and that's obviously for towing uh, pulling stuff and things um, but I've just gone for the extremely basic shape again just so that if, if you can see it at all you'll just see a very basic shape there uh, this part actually sticks on to the to the uh, actual top piece when you're actually constructing it um, I just got carried away and stuck it straight in there, so um, that's my fault. But it fits just perfectly fine anyway. It is, it is an extremely well engineered kit. It really does, do, you know, the few simple parts they've got all just snap together. You could literally snap them together and, and keep them that way. Uh, the seats, as you can see, a bit of plastic card, nothing straight. I stuck them on a bit of wire. Um, they'll be obviously all painted. I've got to put a steering wheel. Um, I've got to put some uh, levers for the for running the, the, the tracks for the driver uh, and I'm going to put a figure in there as well so it won't look so bad once it's um, I've, I've had the the actual top on dry fitted again 
and you hardly see, as I say, you hardly see anything, so it is literally just simple shapes. Uh, put a bit of a radio with a spare putty there. Again, just a quick square. Uh, these bits here are just um, stuck on bits of sprue. Uh, they are just again to add shapes like fire extinguishers and some of the interiors I've seen which are really basic. They do have some ribs going down and some better floor decking, but you just do not see it on the you know when you when it's closed up so I'm not going to go that that far just put some basic shapes some cables there uh, again a bit of sprue for like a little junction box um, and that's all that I'll be doing with it uh, because you really just can't see anything so it's 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 pretty you know it's just not worth it the rollers on the back here these guys here I um cut through uh, with my pin vise uh, they are hollow so unfortunately you then got to stick some as I've done there, some plastic putty, because they're just solid round, uh, round rollers. Where, as as any of you have only done any winching before, you'll you'll know that um, obviously the rollers they're at an angle to hold the rope in. So that's what I've done there, because the the if if there were winching anything, it goes through this hole in the the door here. I mean, obviously you wouldn't particularly want to winch with the door open because if a cable snaps it'll take everybody's heads off uh, that it uh, comes into contact with so you winch through that hole uh, through the rollers and then there's some more rollers here to keep the the hawser intact and then there'll be an end roller here um, so that's something to pick out if you're doing it yourself you probably want to pick that out in some type of metal rather than paint it in the the, the color of the vehicle only because obviously it's it's seen a lot of action a lot of wear so um, no point trying to open any of these guys up, these little hatches for the engine, because there's nothing in there to see. Um, so as I say, so far with this, it's just basic shapes, just um, to, to, you know, if you do want to look, you know, you'll see some something in there rather than just a bare, a bare uh, well, nothingness, if that's a word. So that's our bottom bit. Our top bit. Um, I've left the, the uh, sinkholes in here and it's got obviously stamping in, from the factory in there. I've left that because when it's on you just don't see any of it and uh, I just didn't see the point in in doing that. Obviously these runners here are where you attach that other piece that I'd stuck in the bulk, uh, bulkhead. I've just attached, you can see it's obviously cooked off a bit with the super glue but I've attached uh, some, this will be rope for the anchor. Uh, I've not actually seen it rope to the anchor, so whether they just used to tie a knot in it when they needed to use it, I, I'll, we'll go with that. Um, so yeah, a bit of bit of usual wire there just to do that. I've obviously made some. I took took off the the oh, <laughs> on here. It shows the this little handrail type thing. Uh, well, in the casting, it's literally just cast as a square. You know, as a, as a little piece of plastic, you, you, there's no definition in it whatsoever. So, I I took the, the choice of just actually just uh, doing it. Obviously, as usually with me, nothing straight or level. It's again, I'll I'll get this side of it. <laughs> At the moment, I've got the ideas to do things, but not the skills to get anything straight or level. But it'll 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 get there. Uh, and this is slightly too high, but I'm hoping when it's when it's um, when it's painted up, you know, it won't look too bad. I did open this one out, just, I've not so much opened it out to see inside, it was more for the fact that whether you paint this in the Africa, Africa Core desert color like this one, or whether you paint it, which I'm gonna do in the, the, the German gray uh, for Barbarossa, or indeed for the channel ports or whatever, um, I just wanted the white, the whiteness of the, of the hatch there just to, to be a bit different from all the grey if that makes sense. Uh, the plastic in there is supposed to be in there. I did double check on the instructions. Uh, this is obviously a, it's not a funnel, it's actually there for the the commander of the vehicle uh, just to obviously con it from, the, from there. Um, I put a bit of wire around there, not massively successful because I'd, I'd cut some of it out as I tried to get the, the hatch off and this bit of plastic card in its place. Uh, there is obviously, like on the back here, um, uh, a hook and that for, uh, to, to go on for, for towing stuff. Uh, however, obviously it's got to really attach into the, the base, so it can't do that until this, this is actually all attached. So I uh, can't do anything with that at the moment. 
uh, I think that's about everything. Have I covered it? I've covered everything I've done. Chopped up, <laughs> chopped up, and and wrecked. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for now. So the next phase will be uh, give it obviously giving it a primer um, or first primer anyway, uh, and then pr uh, spray inside, which will be white, and uh, the same was obviously in the inside of the cabin on the on the tub itself. That will all be white and uh, then I will attach the, the sorry yeah attach the attach put the glazing in attach the, the top to it and then uh, we'll go with with spray although I'm not actually going to oh, I'm not sure yet yeah I'll probably have to glue it down so it means I might I'm not sure yet I don't know whether to, to actually because of this this back piece here because it attaches onto the the hole um, I've actually cut it out because I thought it was actually just going to simply attach on the back but as I say it actually goes into a little little hole on the deck um, so that might have to be uh, added on later because uh, I'd, I'd prefer not to have to to actually um, uh, cover all this glass over if I can help it mask it that's the word I was after um, there's a couple of little uh, um, lights I believe uh, that go in here. I've left those off because they stick out a bit and I'm about to snap them off. Uh, these straight things here I believe are indicators. Uh, I don't know if you know with the old cars they didn't particularly have the obviously the indicators that we have now. It's literally like a tab that would come down and I'm I'm almost sure that's what they do because I think I've seen a photograph a wartime photograph with them with one of them down. Uh, I've also got some I took the there is some hatch uh, handles there. I cut those off because they were solid and I couldn't drill through them. So um, I'm going to put some wire on those. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's all coming together. It's a nice little kit. Um, it's mainly now, as I say, more or less painting. Really, I can't see there's that much more that much more work to be done on it. I'm hoping to add a couple of figures on it as well. We shall see. Um, but yeah, really enjoying it. It's a nice little kit. As I said, I've got a spare bit of spare time from painting, uh, and I couldn't go forward with the one in thirty-five where I'm waiting for, for other bits to to dry and whatever that I'm painting. So I just thought, now we'll break this open the other day and uh, and get a start on it. So guys, thank you very much for taking your time out uh, to stop by and have a look at this video. You take care of yourselves, and we'll catch each other very soon. If not, we'll catch each other at Telford tomorrow. If you're at, uh, you know, if you're about. Come up and say hello. I'll say I'll be with Mick and uh, and you know stop and uh, have a chat if you if you like that. So guys, thanks a lot. You take care of yourselves. I'm waffling now as usual. <laughs> so take care of yourselves, and we'll see each other on another video. Cheers.